Hey, it's Jeff McLennan with uh, Remax here. Well, um, today I'm not actually talking to you about real estate, so uh, I guess that doesn't really matter. The MS Society says that for every 100,000 people in Canada, there are 240 people with MS. Uh, can you think of someone you know who is living with MS? And for me personally, it's really easy uh, to think of someone because that someone is me. I don't like to talk to people about the fact that I have MS. I don't want the way people look at me to change. I guess that's my, my big fear. Um, you know, and, I, and I'm not a big person on uh, sympathy. It makes me really, really uncomfortable. So why am I talking to you about this? Well, the MS Society and all the doctors and nurses and staff at the MS Clinic in BC have been amazing to me and the research and improvements in my life that have happened over the last few years have been huge and I wanted to find a way to give back. So I put together a team of people on May 28th, we're gonna do the MS walk and our goal is to raise at least $1,000 uh, to give to the MS Society. One of the ways my life was really improved uh, was when I first was diagnosed with MS, it was about, uh, wow, it's, it's been about 10 years now. Um, I was put on a drug called Rebif. And Rebif, like most MS drugs at the time, uh, was an injection. So I would take a needle, uh, probably about this big, uh, that big, and I would load it into an injector, which was huge. And you'd, you'd stick the in thing up against your flesh, either uh, the fatty part of your thigh or your elbow or your butt and you press a button and a plunger would slam the needle into your skin and uh, inject you with Rebif. And I'm not super comfortable with needles as I'm sure some of you are as well. Um, I remember I would lock myself in the bathroom to do it because I was embarrassed to do it in front of my wife. Uh, I guess because I didn't want her to see how scared I was. Um, and I remember in the first week, locking myself in, screwing the whole thing on, putting it in, and I, I'd count down to get myself ready. Three, two, one. And I, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't push that button. I had this image in my head of the needle slamming down on me, and it was driving me nuts. And eventually, uh, Rach knocked on the door, and <laughs> I, I was really mad. I'm like, get out of here. I'm just, I'm just, I'll do it. I'm just, one more minute. She, she said, love, you've been in there for over an hour. Um, and it never got easier. I never got comfortable pushing the, the button. Um, and Rebif, for me, had really, really hard side effects. I didn't notice because it crept up on me. I'd feel like I had the flu. And I'd get the shakes at night when I was going to sleep and uh, the sweats. And it was really... Um, it was really hard on me. I didn't realize how hard until we went away on a vacation. I forgot my medication and I was off it for a week. And I couldn't believe it. It was like I was alive again and I didn't realize that I was basically the walking dead. Um, and I went immediately to my MS doctor and was like, uh, Dr. Devonshire, get me off Rebif. I need something else. It's making me feel horrible. And I'd been on it for years and I had no idea how bad I was feeling. Um, and she was great. She got me on another drug. I can't remember what the name of it was, but it, it made my uh, skin go bright red all the time. Uh, kind of like my skin is looking right now because <laughs> uh, I'm not super comfortable talking about this. And I felt hot, like just so hot. About a year ago, my doctor called me and, and told me that they had a new drug called Jelenia and she could get me on the experimental program because I had failed so many other drugs with, with the side effects. And the amazing thing about this drug was it's a pill. So just that alone, the quality of my life got better. A pill that I take in the morning and there are absolutely no side effects. Um, Dr. Devonshire told me when, when I originally got on it, she said, there's no side effects. Uh, except one and it'll happen in the first 12 hours if it happens and I'm like well what is it and she's like it could kill you and I'm like what <laughs> she said don't worry about it though it's nowhere near as bad as what it sounds like uh, one person did die in testing um, but now we've got a whole system and I said okay and I had the heart rate and everything hooked up to me and you know when you're in Mexico or or somewhere else where the water isn't super 
reliable and you're taking a shower and the water gets in and you think, oh my God, I drank it. Um, it was kind of like that. You know, every five minutes I thought I was having a heart attack, but I didn't. Everything was great. And that's just one of many things that is making myself and other people with MS's life better. If you know somebody who's living with MS, um, or if you're just an awesome person, maybe think about sponsoring my walk. Like I said earlier, our goal is to raise $1,000. Uh, even if you just feel like giving us a couple bucks, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, thank you very much. And if you're interested, I'll have a link below. Thank you for your time.